Hello there, this is Christian, and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. Today I'm playing around with a wavy washer. Uh, uh, due to some, uh, I think I saw a question somewhere on how to create this. There's a couple of way, different ways. I'm using sine wave, and also made this as a small challenge in a Facebook group. Uh, the problem is, if you have a challenge and follow this workflow, you will not get to the same volume at the end, because I've changed the workflow a bit. I'm going to fast, uh, very speedy explain why I changed the workflow. The original workflow I did, I created one of these bodies, which I'm highlighting the face of here. Nothing strange about that. And then I used circular pattern and combine to put them together. The problem is that combine is not totally parametric. If you change the number of bodies, combine will not find the new bodies or will lose bodies and get a bit confused. And somebody mentioned in a comment in the Facebook group that, uh, uh, not totally to mine, but this amount of collaboration correlation to this question, but emboss, which I'm using down here, could be good to use. And I thought, yes, emboss is good because of feature, and I'm going to do circular patterns on features, it updates the number of features with no problem. So, I might change my workflow to use emboss instead. So, we're going to have a look on how I create this. We're going to open a new design, start by creating a new component immediately, so I don't forget that. Washer, like that, and we're going to do some parameters user parameter, modify, change parameter, we're going to start with id, inner diameter, 19. Uh, this is just the numbers I have in my head, od, outer diameter, 26, I'm going to need a height, height, that's going to be 2.5 to start with, uh, I'm going to explain what height I mean, we look at this model, look from the right side, the height is from the bottom flat plane below here up to the top plane up here. It should be that. If I'm doing wrong, please correct me later or leave a comment why I'm doing things wrong. Sometimes I do mistakes, or not some, a lot of times I do mistakes. Sorry about that. Uh, we have a height, we need a material thickness, uh, thickness of 0 0.5. And the last one we're going to need is the uh, number of waves. I'm just going to call it waves. Uh, the important thing here, change units to no units and you start with three waves. Hit OK. And let's start doing some sketching. Uh, any plane you want. I'm going to hit C on the keyboard to create a circle. This is going to be inner diameter. This is later going to be used to do the emboss on the cylinder. So I'm embossing from inner diameter towards outer diameter. And as I don't want to create too many sketches, I'm going to put a line in this one. This line here, I'm going to start from the center point and go straight out to the right. You can see the blue uh, vertical constraint here, so I'm going to use that, so I don't need to add that by hand, uh, as I want fully defined sketches. Uh, the length of this is going to be the circumference of the inner diameter. So let's do that first. ID, it pops up a user variable, hit enter. Uh, to get the circumference of the circle, it times it times pi, and remember, big letters for pi. Uh, the thing is here, we have now the full circumference, and I don't want the full circumference. Full circumference, I want the, the circumference of one wave. So we're going to divide it with waves, like that. And we have a small short line there. Thank you very much. We're going to finish. I'm going to create all the sketches I need here before I start creating bodies. That's uh, that's up to you. In which order you want to do thing, you might want to start doing some bodies before you do all the sketches. But this is all I'm going to work in. I have a starting sketch from the side where I see I'm looking at this line here. So I'm going to take a new line. This is going to be profile for the sweep. So it's going to line here. And this here is going to be, whoops, ah, sorry, let me just do that again. I hit the wrong key on the keyboard. Click up like that. I'm going to start the parenthesis. I'm going to use height. Uh, if I do that, that's too much. If you think about height from bottom to top, I need to reduce it with the thickness. And parenthesis, and the problem now is this is the full height minus minus uh, thickness, and I'm going to do a sweep here, and I'm going to revolve that sweep around the axis, so I need to divide it by two, so I get a radius length of the sweep. Can move it out like that. You're going to see soon what I'm going to do. We're going to finish sketch. Now I'm going to do a surface sweep. Surface, where a sweep, it's there. Uh, the profile I'm going to use is uh, this one here. The path is going to be this long line here. Uh, yeah, that's easy. The thing now we want our curve. So we're going to add a twist angle with 360 degrees. Hit OK. By doing this, looking from the front, we have a 
what we might call a sine wave here. It's not really perfect and it's gonna get worse as we keep on projecting this between different surfaces, but for this purpose it's good enough. It, uh, it is a fast way to get a nice curve. Of course, if you want to, you could make this line and then do a spline shape here or something like that. That's up to you. But this I like because it gives a, a stable version and it makes it easy to do some other things later. So we need the curve of this. We do not need this three dimensional part. We want this on a flat plane. So let's start a sketch on the plane here, the plane that the sweep is done on like that. We're gonna hit P for project, just to make sure your selection filter is specific entities. And we select the curve out here and hit OK. I'm gonna finish sketch and now we have, you can see, we have like a sine wave here we can use and I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up this bodies and sketches. You can see I have a lock on all my sketches, they are fully defined. Uh, this sheet metal body has done its work, so I'm gonna right click and select remove. And we have it there and we can hide the sketch number two, that's the profile, we don't see that anymore. Uh, I have auto hide turned off in my references so, so my sketches stays on even after I do like extrude. Normally uh, Fusion hides them. You can change that up in preferences. I also link a video up if you get frustrated with how I do things where I explain some of the shortcuts I use. Now I'm going to extrude. It's still in surface mode. Extrude uh, this here. I'm going to extrude in this direction. So I say it's a minus side. I'm going to use in a diameter. But that's too far, so I'm going to divide it by 2. So we have a radius of the inner, inner diameter. If we go back and look from the top, you can see it's now lined up here. Uh, I don't know if that's really truly necessary, it just helps me to think. I need to have places, uh, things in places where my brain can think of them. And now we're going to use this. Uh, of course, we cannot uh, emboss a line, we need a sketch with some uh, offset. So we can do a sketch and use offset and stuff like I it earlier, but I noticed that offset sometimes uh, crashes when I change numbers, so I'm using features to create the profile I'm going to emboss. So we're going to hit S and uh, thick, whoops, thicken, thicken command, the blue one. Select our little here, and it goes minus 0.5, that's correct, but I want to use my parameter, so minus the thickness of material, like that. And of course, uh, our uh, surface body now has done its work, so I'm going to remove that. Every time I don't need a body anymore, I try to remove it. And I don't need a line of a background, I can hide that one. Now, I'm going to create a new sketch on the front face of this. Uh, yeah, but if we thicken this, I'm going to click on the front face here if I can find it. So I'm going to need to turn around, you see it highlights and click there. We're going to do project again, uh, select uh, yeah specific entities, select the whole front face here and it should get projected. OK, finish sketch. And we can see now, if we hide the body, we have a new beautiful sketch. And once again, this body has done its work, so let's right click and remove it. Now we have our profile. A good thing, this is going to update. If we change the thickness, it's going to do the thickness command and then project the face again, so we gonna, can do everything parametric. Now we need somewhere to, pro, uh, to emboss this or project this. Emboss is a version of project, basically. So we need a cylinder, let's hit E on the keyboard to extrude this cylinder. I'm going to make it symmetric and to cover this measurement is set on half length. So distance here, I'm going to select height. So I know that this uh, height of this cylinder will follow as I change things. If we look from the front, we can see that I have plenty of material to emboss on because I will emboss on a cylinder and then remove a cylinder, but I want the cylinder to be bigger than the emboss. So with that, we can now hide our first sketch and only have the two of you interested of. S on the key to go to board again and type in emboss, emboss. A sketch profile, a beautiful little sine wave sketch here onto this face. And of course, uh, once again, we are projecting a curve on a curved surface. And there can be a problem sometimes. sometimes fusion can sometimes have problems solving the math of this. It's not a perfect program anyway. And with that, Yes, it's correct, but we need to now get the emboss here. This should be the distance from the inner diameter to the outer diameter. So, in depth here, parenthesis, OD, hint, enter, that's outer diameter, minus my inner diameter, and parenthesis, and that's a bit too much because that's the diameter measure, so divide it by two, like that. Now we can hide that sketch.
and we have one wave done. So, S circular pattern, feature is a good thing, and boss feature, axis. You can select the axis in the middle, or we can simply just hit the top face. Fusion understands round faces like this and does everything and then uses that as the axis or a round edge also works. And of course, quantity is corrected free, but we want this to be parametric, so we go in and change quantity to WA, our waves. <coughs> Sorry about that. And wait for Fusion to think for a while. This is not that hard fit. And of course, we have a cylinder wave, so we're going to use an extrude. Click top face, select distance to object, rotate slightly, and select the bottom face and cut, and you're going to cut that away. And by doing that, we now have a wavy washer. So let's see. I'm going over to solid tab. Doesn't matter that much. I just like to have the blue things up. And uh, we have our parameters here. Let's see. Can we change this to six waves? Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, can we do it eight? It might crash. Oh, it didn't crash. Good, 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 good. And we can change that to 30. Uh, if you put uh, dimensions that are a bit too rough, you can get problem with uh, command or features like the thicken because it can't solve it. So you cannot like put in totally wacky parameters. Let's do that three instead and change the thickness to one. Yeah, as you can see, we can change a lot of different things here. And uh, if I don't forget wrong. 2.5, 0 0.5, that's the one I did on uh, Facebook. And we can check, I think this is a bit off. We can take properties. I like to check my volume. And the volume here is 326.7. It's a little bit more than the version I did. Uh, I don't know why the versions are different, but very I, I did, so I said, I did one of these wave bodies and then do a circular pattern on that. And the volume in that case got about one gram, or uh, one cubic millimeter lower volume. That's just for fun. So, this is uh, how I like to play around. Let's do this for fun. Let's do 10 and 6. Like that, you can do really wavy. So, I hope this workflow can be useful to you for something. If you don't want to do something like this or something different. Oh, we can also do a check first. I did forget for that. Sorry, semi Swedish English. Uh, this curve here is 24.2562. If we do our selection, select like one on the bottom, like this one, 24.2060. So it means that the curves on the bottom top and has the same length. So uh, this body is symmetrical so far. Uh, but it's not perfect in any way, but it's close enough for most things if we're going to use this for basic things. So hope it's useful for you. Take care, see you around, and goodbye.